everyone. This is Daniel here again. I'm with my boy Nitrate right now. He he's from Summit. He's I'll let you introduce yourself. Yeah, um my name is Mike Nitre. Um yeah, I live in Summit. Um played but hockey my whole entire life and I've been an outdoorsman my whole entire life. Um been bow hunting now for the last six years or so. Fishing my whole entire life. Um anything really in the outdoors I've grown up doing so um that's basically my lifestyle mm -hmm. yeah that, honestly i find that really cool because me i always i always considered myself not an outdoorsman but person who loves the outdoors i know it's very good you get a lot of alone time and me i want to get to hunting right now i have a lot of things going on so i can't really do that so you know me since i'm a beginner what advice or what do you suggest i do oh. as a beginner i want to get started into hunting <clears throat> um well Someone, you know, you don't have really any background, people who don't have it, I would, YouTube is probably one of the best places to, uh, to start. Um, you know, you can find basically anything nowadays on YouTube, um, and how to, and, you know, there's a lot that goes into hunting, but, um. That people don't realize, like, yeah, they, there's, I thought it was just, just go, and just go outside. Yeah, and no, just, there's, yeah. there's a lot, and, like, right now, it's, um, it's, we got the off season right now, mm -hmm. um, so, Got to pull cameras. Got to set up mineral sites. Gonna have to put the cameras so back out there. So what do you there. hunt? Um, deer, mm -hmm. bear, turkey. I have my. Um, I'll be finding out in June or July if I get my moose tag for uh, Maine. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we do uh, get that, so we can go up to Maine and hunt some moose, um, coyotes, fox, you know, squirrels, pheasant. Mm -hmm. You know, eventually we're gonna you know, venture out and, you know, do elk hunting and, um, yeah, stuff like that. Not up. Um, I'm honestly one of those people, I'm down to hunt anything, but I'm firm believer of hunting something and mm. having a use for it. You know, mm, I see, I see. meat, the fur, you know, mm. just don't hunt something just, just to hunt, for the, just yeah. for the bit. Oh, I see. You know, and that's respectable. That's respectable. Cause people don't realize back then, back then we were hunters and gatherers. You know, and as a men's duty, you have to hunt. Yes, I think everybody should learn how to do. Hunting is very good. You get a lot of alone time. And what type of guns do you use? I know you longbow, but I know you also have other guns that you have in your arsenal. Um, well, mainly I bow hunt. I have a, co I have a couple compound bows. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm using a Hoyt Carbon Spider. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but you know, that's what I ninety percent of my hunting do is done mm -hmm. with a bow. I think. So when I was a rival, because I know you have some guns on you. What type of guns do um, you have? Well, I have a 12 gauge shotgun that I'll use for mm -hmm. bird hunting or um, turkey hunting, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, and then I, I have an AR-15, um, five five six, mm -hmm. two two three rounds. Um, I use that for coyote hunting mm -hmm. and fox hunting for predator hunting, which mm -hmm. you know comes to wildlife management. I think it's something crucial mm -hmm. to uh, you know coyotes can have a devastating impact on the deer population foxes Going back to what you're saying i know that some people believe hunting is a big no-no if you hunt you're a bad person mm -hmm. you don't like it the world you just you, there's something evil there's something wrong with you you know so what are the pros about hunting like about hunting and just actually just being out the outdoors because me i feel like the first step to hunting is just to be outside and immerse yourself in the outdoors to respect nature well wow. but um, from your point of view since you've been hunting you've been outdoors man since you were little what do you, what's the pros of hunting? If somebody asks, why should I hunt? Well, first being outside in general, it's just healthy for you. All around, it's just, it's a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's fresh air, you know, you're constantly moving. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to hunting, you know, if you're not in good shape, it'll definitely get you in, you know, good shape. Mm -hmm. um, and then hunting for, you know, everything that we pay for, your mm -hmm. hunting license, hunting tag, it goes into you know, the conservation of it and, you know, protecting the land and animals mm. and, you know, who do you think really pays for that stuff? Mm. It's hunters. Um, and then, like New Jersey, take a place like Jersey. Mm. You know, when hunting wasn't as long as it is now, a lot more car accidents were happening, you know. People are getting, you know, injured or, mm. you know, killed because they run into mm. a deer. You know, when you start hunting, you cut that number down, mm. right? You also cut down, if you own a farm, mm. not as if you're hunting, 
not as many deer are destroying your crops. Oh, I see. You know, you can go into hog hunting too out in mm-hmm. Texas or a place like that. Mm-hmm. Hogs, they yeah, cause millions and millions of damage you to, you about. know, and I told you about that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you're hunting hogs, you're taking that number down, and you're saving, you know, farmers their lifestyle. You know what I mean? Um, coyote hunting also. Mm-hmm. You don't really want too many coyote. They're going to kill, you know, a lot of deer, a lot of animals that we need and okay shoot. i think yeah bro. sorry guys if um like the editing keeps splitting up because i'm at work doing this interview so it keeps splitting up every time i have to go do something but as i say so there's a lot of positive you help regulate wildlife help regulate rodents and all that and animals that cause that's actually cause um havoc to the environment so that yeah, makes sense i mean mm-hmm. i wouldn't say havoc to like yeah, hogs do. Um, you just, it's really, you keep it in a healthy balance. A healthy balance. Wildlife, you know. And I see. That's the most important part, I would say. That, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. You know, and also, so we talked about, we covered the serial things. We talked about the, you know, the good things of um, of um, hunting, what I should do. So, to just go on YouTube if you want to start beginning hunting. But, like, how about I say, dang, I don't have no internet connection. Or let's say, I just happened to cross this video. If I want to start now, today, what should I do? So should I start just um just going out in the wildlife? So start um, with um you know getting what guns should I have? What bow should I have? What should I do? Um, well, okay. So say you want to start bow hunting because New Jersey is mostly a bow hunting state. Mm-hmm. Um, is it more lenient than gun hunting? Than it's just a, for bow hunting. Like bow hunting, we start in September, oh, right? And we go all the way like. Until February. So it's right? a longer um, yeah, I just, hunting season. We, you do have, you'll have gun hunting in between there, but bow hunting, you're, you can bow hunt the whole entire oh, hunting that's season. That's what I want mean? people bow hunting. Uh, you know, and, I, and I love it because I can start in September. Mm-hmm. You know, I start in September and I can bow hunt all the way. I'll throw, I'll have a couple gun hunts in there and, you know, November. But what do you prefer? Bow hunting. I, for me, I definitely prefer bow hunting. Mm-hmm. I think it's more of a, a challenge for me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you get, I think a lot up up close and personal, you know. Mm-hmm. I try to keep, you know, the stands that I have when deer come in, I wanna take, you know, playing um when I'm bow hunting, you know, I try to keep my max yards of I'm gonna take a shot is at thirty. Mm-hmm. I want it to be in close because, you know, that's I think personally that's your bow hunting, you wanna be up close and personal and the closer you are the better you're not being not being detected and just a lot goes into it but i want to let's say me right? i come to you i want to start hunting mm-hmm. what should i do well personally bow hunting um i would recommend you know bow hunt mm-hmm. i would go to a store um that sells bow hunting that has you know that has bows and stuff mm-hmm. like that they will set you up they will get you the perfect bow that you, for you mm-hmm. you know they'll set you up with that start practicing as soon as you get your mm-hmm. bow Start practicing. So don't just go out hunting. Start targeting. No, practicing. no. Pra- practice first, right? Mm-hmm. Practice first. Then you have to take your your um, hunting. You you gotta get your hunting license. Mm-hmm. Um, New Jersey That's a big thing. Get yeah, your hunting license. New Jersey has a uh, course you could take online. Mm-hmm. You do it online, and then you go and take your field test. That's supposed to for other other um, other states, I believe, too, right? Yeah, every state has. You know, you have to get a hunting license. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and that's just like Jersey. You have to go get your hunting license. Mm-hmm. Go, go do that. Um, after you do that, mm-hmm. I would say, you know, you're practicing. Find out where you want to start hunting, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Find, you know, if it's close to you, if it's your own private property, mm-hmm. whatever you do to, you know, find a hunting area, find it. Mm-hmm. Just start scouting. Um, mm-hmm. Walking around, look for deer, deer signs. Mm-hmm. Um, and trails anything that you know is a good sign look for it um set up trail cameras you know buy some trail cameras oh, online see. you know set it up a spot you know so how much would it cost if I, for a beginner approximately how much to get the license to get the bow how much do you think it would cost approximately as a for a beginner bow between you know three four five hundred dollars for a beginner bow you don't need anything too serious you know just get something that's going to be reliable mm-hmm. um as you get better and you know you get mm-hmm. a couple years go by get a you know nice just like anything you're gonna start as a beginner and then you're gonna work your way up um god damn i'm bow hunted yeah 
Um, and then, you know, the clothing and um, the cool thing about, you know, we're coming from Jersey, you know, as long as you buy your hunting license in Jersey and stuff like that, it's it's cheap. It's not it's not expensive. Oh, so when you, it's you, basically just the equipment that's expensive. Yeah. Um, I mean, unless you're hunting, hunting out of state. Mm. When you hunt out of state, of course, they charge you the full the full price it's going to be very expensive um but the equipment is mm -hmm. is definitely expensive part and you gotta remember gas is very expensive um you know he's driving what type of truck do you have uh the f-150 um ford f-150 um <laughs> this thing's a guzzler gas yeah i had a pretty big <laughs> truck that guzzles gas but you know but it's good for you yeah it's worth it mm -hmm. you know i can put all my equipment in here throw deer in here um, and still have enough room where you know firewood whatever I need to do and whatever carrying tree stands back mm. and forth um, whatever I need you know the mud the snow this mm. thing's pretty reliable so for me it's something I definitely need so I you think it's it. a mindset thing too like if I want to be a hunter I got I got it cuz I mean a lot I think I, this is another topic but I feel like a lot of us got kind of soft you know, yeah. like this new age. Um, you know, it was hunting. It's like, oh, we don't want to get, we don't, we're, we're scared to get a little bit dirty. Well, not everybody. I'm not saying not everybody, everybody like, but, but you know, a lot of people, especially city like, folk. Yeah. yeah, like me, I'm from Elizabeth, which is mostly a city area. But I love the outdoors because, like, that's naturally who we are. We are outdoor people. You know, we're we're not meant to sit down all day, crunched up. We're meant for the outdoors. So that's why I bought him in. I was yeah. like, yes, I'm, I'm serious looking into it. And he started his, he started his own business, a company, Boondocks Company, right? Boondocks Hunting. Yeah, yeah, Boondocks Hunting, you know. He started that hunting company. He doesn't have a website yet, but he's going to have when he does. I will put that on the website. So any any time, anything, any hunting you need, my, for my future subscribers and my subscribers now, go to this guy, go to his website, which is going to come pretty soon. You know when you're going to have everything set up? Um, we're working on, we're really working on the YouTube page right now. Mm -hmm. I think for us, that's the most important thing. We got the Instagram page, mm -hmm. you know. What's your Instagram page again? Boondocks Hunting. So just Boondocks. I'm going to add, I'm going to put it at the bottom, the description box. So you can follow him on Instagram. Please comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about hunting. What do you think is good? If you do hunt, tell me what you hunt with. What, why do you like hunting? Comment below. Please comment, like, subscribe again. Over and out. Got that right, got that right, got that right, hey.